it is I, Tunjarov again. So, we are on the second part of the pull-ups challenge, 1000 pull-ups, and today we have to do 150. So, going to the bars, to the outside gym, whatever it, it is called, I don't care really. And yeah, uh, haven't trained for three, four days and feeling a little bit rusty, but we'll fix that. I'll put some music on and everything will be fixed. Uh, as David Goggins said, training with music is a cheat code. And I try to mitigate the listening to music part as much as possible. But sometimes it is necessary for me to be able to do all the reps that I need to do. Right. And yeah, so see you in the outside gym. So, so last time we did 100, this time we will do 120. And make sure in every exercise to stretch out, warm up as good as possible because to prevent some injuries. And I wanted to do something different and I'll try to do it this time. So I wanted to talk about some different topics. Like, I don't know, whatever. I mean, some boxing matches, some types of training, if something new, some new stuff that are hot right now and I wanted to touch on. And I don't want to do it in a separate video to be boring, so I will work out and in the meantime, I will talk whatever is coming on my mind about the topic that I decide. So today's topic will be Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua, the fight. And yeah, what is my take on that fight? How I feel about it as a boxer, as a fighter myself. And yeah, pretty, that's pretty much it. I'll collect my thoughts and see you in a second. Sushi.
So we did 50, had a more to go. It will be a little bit harder, but no problem. And we stand up now. So the point I wanted to touch on is that as it follows, the recent fight between Joshua and Ganu, it was uh, it was a strange fight. Everything it was scheduled, it was made to look. It was made so Joshua can look good and not lose his career, basically, so to speak. Um, and Ganu just took the shots and not really much defended. As so he threw that all over him right, and then Ganu just stood there, frozen, stiff, like I don't know, like he's a first timer and he's an experienced fighter after all so i really think it was bullshit but probably they didn't want to ruin joshua's career by getting knocked out by francis i think it was not made fully one-sided but i think it was yeah and gano took more money than than it's written on the paper to lose that fight but otherwise, it was entertaining to watch Engano get knocked out for the first time. And yeah, so 100 more to go. See you in a sec. Tori, not Tori. Искам So 100 pull-ups done, 50 more to go, it's a little bit harder considering I haven't worked out in 3-4 days but had a lot of work so you know, I decided to not work, you have to sacrifice something sometimes and the point I made earlier about the fights about the Joshua vs Ngannou is Boxing today is becoming more and more like WWE. It's more entertainment, it's more uh, who the media wants to win more or whose persona. Mokwai, shh. Whose persona they want to protect or whose persona needs to look better in the mainstream media 
like Joshua needed a win, his career was falling down. And against Nganu, who's a prospect coming up, almost winning against Tyson Fury. It looked good for Joshua to knock Nganu that easy. And but I think it wouldn't happen. If I organize the fight, <laughs> it wouldn't happen like that. I mean if they had to fight for real boxing rules, even though Joshua is a much better boxer than Nganu, it wouldn't happen that easy. Not two rounds. But it is what it is. I used to watch WWE back in the day when I was little now now watching WWB worldwide boxing bullshit. But whatever, we still have the UFC, right? The, some fights are rigged in the UFC, but most of them aren't, so it's still the best sport out there to watch because it's a real fight. People still bleed in this sport. Yeah, so 50 more to go. <sighs> Guys, I hope you're enjoying this type of video so far. Of me challenging myself to a thousand pull-ups talking on different topics and if you do please leave a like and subscribe it really helps me grow my channel and produce more and more videos like this helping you guys in calisthenics in boxing in fighting in life in whatever i can i will help you help me by clicking that subscribe button and leaving the notifications on so love you all Hundred and fifty pull-ups later, this is what happens to you. Do at least hundred and fifty pull-ups. So, the second part of the challenge completed. I don't know how much more we will do, but we will do as much as it is needed to hit a thousand. I really hope you're enjoying the today's video. It's a little bit different. I'm talking a lot more. Hopefully, I'm connecting with you. And yeah, and doing the challenge as well. So it's three in one workout challenge and some cigar talk. And yeah, uh, other than that, hope you, I really hope you like that. And if you do, leave a like and subscribe, guys. Every subscribe counts. I really appreciate it. You really, really help very much with each and every subscribe that you put. So thank you all. Thanks. 
to all of you that subscribe and for those that didn't why it's free see you in the next video